A while back, I saw I put on stream a post that looked just like this, and it said, "Breaking gun news alert!" As I am writing this, I have received an urgent email from Christorian X telling me post was hacked. How could this be? Post was supposed to have the best security. In March, I talked about how chudbuds.lol hosted by Claire Bear had been hacked and all the private messages of the users had been leaked. Well, you're not experiencing deja vu. The exact same thing has happened yet again. This time targeting, I think, one of the biggest platforms on the Fediverse post, which I have talked about in the past because uh, the owner does not like me anymore. At least anymore. I used to be on friendly terms with them, but uh, such is life. So, before I talk about the actual contents of the hack, at least what's been found out, it's pretty big, um, I will uh, gloat just a little bit. I can only gloat so much, and I'll explain why, but... I put out a message saying, reminder, that chat messages on the Fetty are totally unencrypted and can be read by both instance admins on both sides and any bad actors that access the instance. They do not appear to expire. Never send confidential information by Fediverse DM. Some people did not take that to heart. There are now a bunch of dick pictures and pictures of hairbrushes that people were sticking up their ass and other embarrassing things coming out of the post DMs. Graph also took issue with the fact that I said this and raised other concerns about uh, his policies. Um, Graph uh, complained that Proton is on the record complying with the feds. You absolute brainlet mongoloid now i use proton i mentioned this before um but i'll reiterate i use proton so i consider this a pretty heavy accusation and i looked into the details of what exactly proton was forced to to divulge and what if any uh court tested is the highest caliber of testing when it comes to shit like vpns uh what information they, they could divulge and Proton has always been very straightforward. They can read the titles of your emails, um, but they cannot read the, at least in rest, the contents of your emails because they are encrypted at rest. Swiss law does not allow email providers to keep a no log policy. It's something like six months of logging. So if you access your email and you're using your domestic IP, your IP will be logged as per Swiss law. And when France uh, requested from Switzerland using a court order IP records, they were able to provide those IPs. However, Swiss law does not require logging on VPNs. Proton provides a VPN. So if you have the package that gives you Proton Mail and Proton VPN, you can use Proton VPN to access Proton Mail, and then they don't have a log because of what because of the technicality and the distinction between service. Uh, so when this was pointed out to me, and I simply said this guy was wanted by the police, he should have been more careful with how he was accessing his email. Um, I said, well, literally, I said. Uh, well, I, that being my point, I asked Graph because they complied with a local court order. Um, oh, Proton VPN is also free. That's true. Thunder. Okay, I'll look at the logo in a second. Um, I said they were complied with a court order. They were transparent about it, and they were uh, uh, forthcoming with how transparent that uh, of, of what information they provided and why. What more could you ask for? That's a, a detailed guide on how to, and they tested, they proved that their content is encrypted, which is what they sell their, their email service on. So I asked him, if the feds ask you for information about a user, i.e. chat messages, which are plain text, are you going to just start shooting them or what? My challenge being, if he operates in two jurisdictions, he has an American presence where all his shit is 
and then he's also Canadian. So if the Canadian police or the uh, U.S. federal government ask him for information using a court order, what's his plan? If Proton is uh, complying with the feds, what is not complying with the feds? Are you just going to Waco it? You're going to pull out your your MG40 and start blast? So there I was, and the feds came up to subpoena me, and I said, "Subpoena this, you glow in the dark, some bitch." They call it Hitler Zipper. Learn it, boy. Like, <laughs> what are you? What are you gonna do? And his response to this was, uh, "If you have." concerns with how I handle user data, I suggest you get the fuck off my website. What does that mean? Are you going to explain to me your pol- I would love to know your non-compliance policies so I can implement similar non-compliance policies on my website. I get a lot of grand jury subpoenas over the dumbest shit people say. I'm just asking for, for this kind of transparency and straightforwardness that Proton displayed, which is apparently not good enough. And his response is, fuck you. So, um... I can't bully him too much for getting hacked because what happened is the same thing that happened to the Kiwi Farms last time is that um, an exploit with the content security policy allowed a remote uh, cross-site scripting uh, uh, attack. That's what happened. But I will read his statement. He says, hey, friends, on Ma May 19th, 2023, so seven days ago, he didn't notice it. Um... An unknown user registered the domain name Fetty Relay to XYZ and set up a fake Moster relay to listen to requests on the Fediverse. On May 20th, a user uploaded the attached document to post. It was originally an obfuscated JavaScript file. Um, when this JavaScript file does, what the JavaScript file does is take the viewer's OAuth token, encode it, and make it look like the Noster pub key and then force the clandestine Noster Relay to look up the user locally given that server encoded token, all while appearing to be a legitimate Noster bridge. I have taken steps to completely limit access to the admin API and corrected any CSP or other issues that could possibly have contributed to this. However, most of you are still vulnerable to it. Um, and Pleroma in general is vulnerable to it. It does not have content security policies that would uh, prevent this. Uh, in order to prevent this, you should do this. And uh, if you are an instance owner, the obfuscated file hash is this. Sorry to anyone I let down, but I can never have foreseen this level of... Then I assume he says it's not my fault. Uh, so now, uh, here are some DMs to read. Uh, Nine asks me, Hey, can I get an invite code to the Kiwi Farms? I reply saying, I only invite true and honest lovers of Israel. Nine replies saying, okay, sorry, I love Israel, sir. Shalom. Give me my account retard. Also, fix Kiwi Farms Matrix. It's been known for months. Please, Josh, you unban you banned me by accident. Unban, please. Uh, I never gave this guy an account invite. I know who he is. He's a spurg. Uh, this is a DM between two gay people. Ocean Redux, whose name is familiar to me, says, If I flash my shit, I'll never live it down. His shit, of course, being his his pee, -pee in his butthole. He says, OMFG. Machiavelli I13 says, Haha, well, well, come to Montreal. Won't need to. Haha. Doing the, his best groomer impression. Ocean Redux says, Lol, I can flash my shit, but I don't know. Machiavelli says, Making me hard. Haha. And Ocean Redux says, LOL, uh, you can fuck off. I think there was more flirting. Uh, this is between Graf and um, Medicare Fembot. Shout out to Medicare Fembot, who's probably watching this. I have always assumed, by the way, Medicare Fembot was a tranny. Because if you ever... I, I've been shown messages of Medicare Fembot um, talking about having like three different boyfriends or something. It's like a weird thing. And it genuinely sounds like a schizophrenic with multiple personalities that was pretty hard to untangle. However, after reading this... I am pretty sure that Medicare Fembot is actually a woman, and I'll explain why as I read it. Um, M, by the way, M is Medicare Fembot. M says, well, it's very pretty. Graf says, you are. M says, thank you, a smiley face. Um, wait, is this in the wrong order?
Let's see, 524. It's 16 minus 3. Four. Oh, no, okay, so this is not the wrong word. Uh, M says, so I've had four rabies shots in the past week, and I just caught another bat like a few hours ago. So I've mastered two fears. I've earned star. Graf says, why four? M says, rabies is eight shots or so. I have a few more to get. <clears throat> Graf says, hot. Come give me rabies. M says, weird to think these little endangered cuties could kill me and my animals. And M says, well, I didn't even know what it was until I called and asked how to remove bats. If you don't know, chat, this woman is not interested in him at all. Um, <laughs> just in case you're not following, uh, when a guy says, hey, we should, you're pretty, we should hook up or something. And a woman says, I have rabies. She is not looking for, ha ha. I would love to have rabies too. Ha ha. She's, she's hoping that you'll be like, oh, ew, gross. I don't want to fuck you then. Cause you have rabies. <laughs> Just, that's what, that's the, the, the meta conversation that's happening while I read this. Uh, it goes on though, of course. Um, Graf says, give me. So after not being reciprocated his first time, by uh saying give me rabies he insists like hey stop changing the subject to me not getting got not getting in your pants and getting rabies in the process he says gimme to redirect conversation forcing fembot to sharply shoot him down and say no death sorry Graf says i meant you and he says oh in that case you may have oh oh i'm wrong she knows this is an orbiter. This is a powerful orbiter too. He controls post. I gotta keep him in the orbit. Gotta wah, 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 wah. keep him going. Yeah, maybe I'll give you rabies, boy. Wah, wah, wah. Orbit me. Wah, 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 wah. Uh, Graf says, "What are you doing? Please come over." Uh, later on, M says, "Well, my rabies shot is on June first. My last rabies shot is on June first. Uh, I gotta be here till then because there's very few." Because they're they are every few days. Graf says, "I can't get rabies. That's fucking gay." M says, "I think I don't think I could give it to you anyway. Silly. You have to get bit by a rabid animal or something." Graf says, "You mean rabid? You can try passing on other bodily fluids if you like." Ha <laughs> ha. And says, "You can blame voice to text for that one." Oh, question mark. LOL. Graf says, yes, thank you. M says, naughty, LOL. Sorry, I will shush. Um, and that's the graph M exchange. Uh, oh, this is what I was thinking of. This is a different conversation from Sims with Men uh, Medicare Fembot. Wait, no. I'm getting this wrong. This is with a different woman, I think. Who's Guts? I, w I thought that the conversation was with uh, Medicare Fembot where this got posted. Oh, no, this. I'm wrong. I'm wrong. Let me, let me make sure I, uh, I'm getting this right because it's very important to what I was saying about Medicare Fembot not being a, a woman. Uh, post. Guts. Is Guts Medicare Fembot? Oh, I'm logged out. Am I banned now? Graph might have banned me midstream, so now I don't get to check posts. No, wait, I'm not banned. Okay. Just got logged out again. Who is Guts? Not found. The account is gone. Okay. Who is M then? That's also gone. Okay. Chat, does anyone know if Guts or M is Medicare? Is Medicare fed by in the chat? Can you fucking clarify which of these accounts are? Guts is supposedly Medicare Fembot's husband. Ah, thanks. What a Chad. Um, Guts and Fembot are the same guy. Okay, I I'm correct. Then this is Fembot. Uh, that was some other some other lady that Graf wanted to fuck. Graf says hi, Predator face. Guts says hi. Graf says, hi, what are you doing? Gut says, Mars is strolling post. Graf says, uh, proud of you, friend. Graf says, hey, currently pooping while on post from Medicare Fembot. 
Um, Graf says, nice. Graf says, are you one of those weird people that takes off their clothes to poop? Or to shit, rather. I like to say to poop. Guts or Fembot says, no, no, but I use, do use flushable wipes instead of TP when I poop. That's bad for the environment. Ref says, I bought your old Twitter account, and then he links to um, the Twitter and password with the period. Ref says, if Twitter asks you for the email to use, it's aldolfo 2012 xylo at hotmail.com. Ref says, miss you. I'm okay, but tell me what's going on, please. Fembot says, did you get drunk for Cinco de Mayo? Graf says, no, I got drunk the day after, but I can't drink much anymore. I think I'm going to die. My GGT level, a chemical that liver releases, are more than double the high reading. So I cut back a lot, and I'm going to another blood test in a week, in a bit. So if you don't know, Graf is like a chronic alcoholic, and I think he takes like fucky brain meds too. That's why he's always so crazy. Fembot says... Well, I had a massive, uncontrollable mental breakdown. That's all. When you're talking to a girl and you say, hey, what's, what's, what's up? How you doing? And she says, ah, I just came off a massive, uncontrollable mental breakdown. That's a great sign. That's how you know that woman is there for you. And, and she has the qualities that you need to progress your life in a productive manner. That is the greenest flag in the world. <clears throat> um, well, I had a massive uncontrollable mental breakdown in the middle of lunch break on Tuesday. I don't know what happened. I ended up driving to a random apartment complex place and had what I assume was a panic attack and depressive spiral. And then I realized that two hours passed and I drove to a hospital and told them I was suicidal and had a psychiatric place and a psychiatric and had a psychiatric place and was very, very boring. It took four vials in my blood. The nurse made me strip down in front of her and she said to feel inside my bra and underwear for sharp things and weapons, LOL. And then I got a gown and socks and pants and I laid in bed for like six hours. Graf says, that end sounds kind of cozy. I'm glad you are okay, but maybe this has something to do with wanting to make babies and your BF not wanting. So Graf went from, hey, give me rabies, let me get in those, uh, those uh, Medicare Fembach pantalones to let me, be a, let me be a counsel for you and your boyfriend. I will explain what this is in a second also. Fembot says, they woke me up a couple times for testing and blood drawing, and also I ha had a very not private psychiatric session with a doctor on a tablet, and it was not cozy because there were five people to a room and I was in there with old women, a legit crackhead, a morbidly obese guy who kept calling me beautiful and some other guy who seemed pretty normal, LL. But the doctors all said I was cool. Um, I think that Fembot lives in the Philippines. She's like half Chinese, half Filipino. So she's like in a really shitty, if she's in the Philippines, she's in a really shitty place. Uh, Graf says, I'm glad you made friends with the crackhead and the normal guy. She says, no, he does not want kids. We just both didn't want them yet because we're not financially ready. But he's getting his pilot's license soon, and he said he wouldn't mind if I got pregnant now. We had an accident a few weeks ago, and he wanted to get me on plan B. And I was like, uh, you can buy it if you want me to take it. And then he decided he did not want to because he said if I was pregnant, it wouldn't be a bad thing, so we didn't buy it, LOL. They're not in the Philippines because plan B is not legal there. Graf says, wonder what it's like being fat and crazy. Um, reading this from a, from this perspective makes it sound like he's talking about Fembot, but I think he's trying to shit on her boyfriend. Oh, hint, hint. Fembot says, I told him the lip injection thing made me upset before. And he said, it's just a fetish. I was just dirty talking, but it's an anime man. That's so different. They're not real. And this is why I think that she's actually a real woman uh, for the first time. Graf says, don't feel stupid. I don't understand any injection shit. Fembot says, I don't even watch porn anymore or less after dudes. You could show me a giant dick on the hottest man alive and I'd feel nothing because it's not him. I just want someone to love me that too much. That much too. So that's very feminine. Even trannies don't feel that way. They don't just stop watching porn like, oh, I'm in a relationship now. I'm not attracted to other men. That's a woman thing. Men don't do that. Graf says, giant dick is stupid, just like giant tit. It's just a giant waist. Fembot says, 
His defense is that why do I feel gross if he tells me I'm sexy all the time and says he loves me every day? But the good stuff doesn't offset the things that upset me. He says, why is it that I always do something wrong? How Have I ever came to you and told you that you're making me feel gross? No. And I wanted to say because I don't do things that make him feel gross. But I just didn't because there's no point. Graf says, I want someone to love me that much too. That's all I ever want. I understand why he feels that way, but there's really nothing of value to earn from following porn stars because it's not like they're smart or funny or anything or fucking real. Um, ben Mott says, yeah, he said, Jesus Christ, it's not like I'm in a relationship with them or know them in real life, but that's not the point. He said, fine, I'll stop following them, but now he won't reply to me and all I want is a hug. I just feel like I'm being prioritized second to fucking porn and he thinks it's stupid. Graf says, I know what you mean. It feels like that shit because you feel like you're being compared to them. You're not crazy. Thelma says, I just want a hug. I want to not have to sit here and comfort myself, man. I didn't have anyone to do it for me my whole childhood until, and I still have no one just to console me. She says, yeah, even after I said, even I said that, he just scoffed and said, well, sorry, you think you need a giant tits just because I follow some accounts or that you need giant tits just because I follow some accounts. I said, you're making me feel stupid. Please just think about how I feel. He said, how about what I feel? And I just didn't respond. Graf says, you're perfect the way you are. I promise you that. Don't forget you can call and cry at me anytime you need, night or day. Now, I don't have a word for this, but... There is a kind of orbiting of betaness where a guy who is a simp for a woman in a relationship, when he wants to break up that relationship, will get in there and be like the shoulder to cry on and then say things like, yeah, he's fat and crazy to try and neg him and then empathize and be like, because then if they break up, if he's the the successfully drifts them apart, instant rebound. That's the plan. I'm the instant rebound if I break up that relationship. I don't have a word for this, but that's what he's doing. It's um, it's manipulative, and predatory, and women know this. And even when they break up, they don't go with the 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 guy they cried on. Uh, they they find another guy. <laughs> <laughs> they'll just say, I'm not ready. I just broke up. I'm not in a relation. I don't, I'm not ready for a relationship right now. And then they'll cold shoulder graph. And then uh, she'll get in another relationship with Chad Thundercock. And then he's not necessary anymore. And he'll be super pissed off about it. And uh, he'll hate her and, and be shitty towards her. I'm just saying, I know I've seen this. I've seen this before. I, I grew up on the internet. The term is Jody. No, it's not a home wrecker. A home wrecker is a woman that gets with a guy and fucks up a relationship. This is not. This is like a non. This is the other way around. First of all, it's a woman talking to a different guy, but it's strictly a friendship, and the man is trying to use his like armchair psychologist position to convince her to break up with her boyfriend so that she, he can uh, be there as the rebound. Someone's saying that it's uh, a Jody. I've never heard this term though. It's a Jody Ares, the nice guy. Yeah, the nice guy. There's a comic actually. Oh God, I have to find this. Okay, I, I, chat, you have to, someone must know what I'm talking about. There's an XKCD comic about settling. And it's about this exact thing. D does anyone know the name of this of this comic? It's an X case. It's it's a really good XKCD, and it really sums up this entire thing. And it's going to drive me fucking crazy unless I can think of it. We'll call it doing a graph. Um. Fuck. I'll never find this because there's so many XKCD comics that there's just no chance in hell I'll ever be able to find the specific one. 
It is trip 376. Okay. It is not strip 376. You fucking lied. Okay. So I'll, I'll take two more suggestions. Uh, 1768 XKCB. No, that's wrong. You just Googled settling. It's a... Two twenty. <laughs> How much time can I possibly waste? It's years and years old, though. Is the thing two twenty four has done it? Oh, let's just move on. Okay, I guess I have to. Is it strip fourteen eighty eight? No, I don't think so. It's a uh, has a good search function. Okay, fine. Where is the search function? No, it, it's just a comic, and the point of it is, is that how you're always there for me, but I don't love you, and then one day maybe I'll settle for you, and I'll feel kind of natural, and I'll make myself get used to it, and maybe it'll feel right, but I'll always feel like I'm missing out because I never actually cared about you. And that's like the best that the Jody can hope for. That's like the most ideal situation. It's like the most depressing shit ever. But I know exactly what it is. Anyways. That's chat GPT. Okay. Fuck it. I will. Let's take, drag this out one second longer. And see if XKCD possibly knows. Uh, or the chat GPT. Which comic. Which XKCD comic was about settling for a relationship didn't feel strongly about okay ai prove your worth to me no it suggested settling it's a very old one nope xkcd doesn't understand doesn't know Says there's over 2,000 of them. We have been completely felted yet again, chat. Okay, everyone's spamming me with um, 513. Let's check this. Last one. Yes. Is this it? Yes. It's called Friends. 513 is it. Oh, my God. What, what a heroic effort by my lovely chat. Saving the day. Here you go, Graf. This is what you're looking forward to. Guy says, I have a crush on you. I could ask you out and move on with my life if you said no, or we could be friends. See, I don't want to consider that you might not be attracted to me. I'm scared of rejection, so I've decided relationships should grow smoothly out of friendships. When you have problems, I'll be there for you, night after night, selflessly. I'll tear down the jerks you date and wait for you to realize how good I am for you, that only I will ever understand you. You won't want that. You won't want to hurt my feelings, and I won't ever force the issue. I'll tell myself it's because I value our friendship. Bit by bit, I'll make you depend on me. You'll think about how long it would take to build this kind of connection again. And in a moment of weakness and loneliness, you'll give in. It'll feel comfortable and natural. You'll quietly revise your definition of love and try to be happy. And sometimes you will. Only the wistfulness in your gaze and the tiny pause before you say I love you will hint that this wasn't the ending you hoped for. Sound good? And then she says, I'm going to date this jerk. But he doesn't respect you. And this is it. Uh, 513 XKCD titled Friends. Something that I've, uh, I, I saw a long time ago and I remembered. <laughs> Um, and one more thing, there was an incident that I talked about where one of the admins, I believe this was one of the admins, uh, for, don't give me, don't quote me on this, I don't fucking remember exactly, but I think Lude the Wides was one of the old admins for, for Post, and he runs an instance uh, that's dedicated to Lollicon. I made a post saying something about how... Um, about how people from the forum shouldn't give Graf trouble or whatever, because he was complaining about that. And then he says, 
quote, not actually a quote. I don't know who he's quoting, but he's using the quote incorrectly here to say, I'm going to do absolutely nothing different to stand up for the person who showed me hospitality, but here's some finger wagging to make it look like I care. You know what, Josh? Go fuck yourself. You and your community are not worth defending. To which I reply, kill yourself, pedophile. Um, and this caused an issue. Uh, they've all, Raph has never, never forgiven me for chasing this guy off his instance. Um, but Lude the Wides is talking to Satan. Um, Satan is, I want, he was an admin for Baphomet on 8chan. And he was active in the 8chan IRC. And I want to say that he is the current administrator of Breach Forums. Don't quote me on that. I think he took over Breach Forums. Um, but Lou the Wides is talking to him and he says, if you want to know why I don't have many principles is I just want to be there for my family and kill myself if I can't. Already tried three times this life. I'm just tired of all the shit you can't control. I'm sorry. To which Satan replies, sounds like some faggot shit to me. Lou the Wide says, when you don't have much to live for anymore, you just go to where people give you some kind of compassion. Satan says, try growing some balls instead. Maybe this conversation is over, but I'm not going to be guilt tripped by a hot pocketing faggot. Lou the Wide says, shit. I just come back to, I had just come back to this just to say I was really fucking gay yesterday. I apologize for my gayness. Lou the Wide says, I just wanted to ask, uh, talking to Halo from Varish Hangout, but are you going to be the kind of instance that will tolerate the extreme stuff like toddler con and the realistic 3D lolly con? Halo says, no. I'm not a fan of the majority 3G shit. Way too uncanny valley for me. Wow. I actually didn't pick up on that uh, first time I read through this. Lou the Wise asks, Gotta watch for your users in this time, especially if you go against the grain of mainstream culture. Halo says, Indeed, indeed. Well, the main priority of... The main priority is being a pedophile. Not much else, really. Occasionally shit-talking a post, maybe. Ilya Smug. Lou the White says, that's fine. We have a new ir ironic Nazi glowies that could use some pedophile therapy. Halo says, ah, we had that one guy, Akakia, acts like a 14-year-old who discovered Pole. Annoyed the shit out of me in the mod, so we banned him after he made a few death threats. Not even pedophilia could calm him down. Lou the Wide says, for shame. Uh, and this is, uh, again, him talking to Halo saying, hey, anyone organizing a lolly raid when Frank's speech opens up? Halo says, no, what is that? And then he links to a website called Frank's Speech. And he says, media bot check, good sign. What the fuck is this? And Lou the Wide says, don't know why it's like that right now, but I suppose it's a boomer social, social media outlet. Uh, by that fucking my pillow guy. So the my pillow guy wanted to get on the Fediverse and support, you know, counterculture uh, alternatives, federated alternatives. And Lou the Wise decides I'm going to spam this guy with anime child pornography and chase him off. <laughs> Great. I wonder why. I wonder why we can't establish any alt tech. Could it be that there are pedophiles out there who we haven't hanged? That our government is just letting walk around and not dangle slow, not like with a nice drop and crack. I'm talking about dangling slowly so that we can record it and post it on YouTube. Is it maybe if we, if we, the problem with people like this is that they fuck up everything for everybody else. We have all these freedoms, but then pedophiles who are objectively evil that everyone hates, everyone sees as a problem, come along and say, well, I'm going to fuck this up for all of you. And we could have all of our freedoms if they just died. If they were not alive anymore, we could be able to have Tor and and uh, anonymous image boards and federated social media, no problem, without any kind of centralizing and anti-spam, if we could just fucking get rid of them. And this guy doesn't like me, by the way, which I don't consider an issue. And this, these are, I think, I want to say he was an admin. I'm going to ask Krunk real quick. Krunk. Was Lude the the Wides a admin for post? This is very urgent. 
Uh, okay. He's responded. He's contemplating. He says, I believe so. I, I, I take that as a yes. So there you go. Or a Janney, he says. He clarifies he may also have just, just been a Janney. I remember there was some drama where Lou the Wise was chased off a uh, post because of Kiwi Farms. Sorry, drama neighbors who Graf despises now. Um, but that was my fault, and he got very angry at me for that. Meanwhile, he's talking about uh, spamming the fucking my pillow guy with Lollicon just to, just to be a cunt. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CAC of Remember to like and subscribe.